having the immersion, staring at the boots, on the ankles, displaying its returning heart, the lean Buddha. Once we're employing Buddha, we're going to squeeze the legs together. When we squeeze the legs together, we push the hips towards the sky. Hold on to the swing so you can walk to the leg into a comfortable position. There is a place where it feels better than others. <laughs> Then we bring our legs wide and around. A peaceful warrior is just extending the arms to the ground. I like to clasp the elbows. So this is the number one pose I use to help traction the lower back. So this is really going to help to heal the lower back pain that a lot of people experience. So just hang in with this. Feet are relaxed. Feet are relaxed. Knees are bent. Bring your feet towards one another. Begin to move in. Reach up and grab one of the leg loops in your hands. Get your feet out. Okay, make sure your feet are out. This is a good time to work on this. Get the leg loops on and the elbow creases. So we do the happy Buddha first. Remember this clap. Get your legs in front and I'll wrap your legs around. Oh, good. Okay. There you go. That's important. Get these on the elbow creases. Awesome. Very good. Push your hips forward. Push the hips forward. Keep pushing the wrist. Now we're already arched, we just have to open up our arms, get our leg loops on the outside of the knees, that's key. Four times the leg loops are the step of the genome. The leg loops are the step of the genome. Awesome. Now from here, we can go ahead and straighten the arms and release the leg loops, but stay arched. Walk your hands back behind you. Walk your hands back. Well said, we're in an upside down dog. Back is the other way, Emma. Yes, good. Okay, so we're going to pull forward. So pull forward and you're going to handstand. Nice. All of a sudden, you're going to handstand. It's amazing. So I want you to bring your feet towards your head and your head towards your feet. So that's Scorpion. Do you feel the strength in that one? It's really strong. Now go ahead and straighten the legs out wide. So feet towards the ground. Heavy legs. Go ahead. Keep the handstand arms. I'm just going to plant my left hand in the center. I'm going to reach my right hand. My toes, my toes towards my hand. So you have to bend at the hip crease to get it. So just try it on your back and forth a couple times. Play with the balance. Okay? The swing is holding you. You're mainly just shifting in your hips. That's good though. Just touch the leg. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, guys. Now we're going to try and balance. Plant the left hand in the center, the right hand towards the sky. Yeah. And twist. This is the end of the body. Keep the legs heavy. Yep. It can easily turn into an alley if we're not careful. So balance. <laughs> I know. It's a tricky one. Try it one more time on each side. So this is teaching us to balance and leverage and different points. It's amazing. Very good. Okay. So go ahead and bend the elbows and just hang. Okay. Reach up and grab for the leg loops. Use our leg loops. We're going to do a bicep curl, scissor kick down, and then come to sit. Ooh. Take a moment to stay seated. Yep, sit down. Very nice, stay seated. Good. Just feel the strength of those the five sequence. It's an amazing sequence for the body. Really good. So stay there. When you um, are ready, we're going to take some notes about that. See if there's